do this, not that. Hi, I'm Susan Aruda. Today I'm going to take you through the basic standing position for exercise execution. I'm going to take you through what to do so that you execute it properly and stay injury free and of course what not to do. So typically if you're standing and you have your feet close together that doesn't give you a very stable base of support. So you want to avoid that unless you're challenging something different like maybe your balance or something like that. Um, so you want to have a feet shoulder distance apart and you also want to make sure that your feet are pointing straight ahead. A lot of times you think that you're standing straight and you have this happening. So correct your alignment, feet pointing straight ahead and shoulder distance apart. So make sure that you're monitoring your alignment using a side mirror and a front mirror, ideally. Um, the way I'm standing now, I see this a lot. Don't do that. My legs are straight and locked. And as you can see, that puts an excessive arch in my lower back and that is not safe for your lower back, so avoid that. You want a soft bend in the knees, soft little micro bend always, that automatically just puts you in a better position for your back. Uh, in addition to that, you don't want your back to be arched, so even if you're bending your knees, that helps, but you need to shift your pelvis slightly, okay? into what's called a neutral back. So you do have a slight arch because that's natural for your lower back, but you don't want to have an excessive arch, nor do you want to have a, a straight flat back. So somewhere in the middle. So shift your pelvis and have that nice stance where you're feeling your abs engaged, okay? So don't just let your abs fall out. You need to pull them in in addition to tucking that pelvis. Now what I typically see a lot is also, you know, a sloppy upper body, and if your head's uh, out of alignment, you don't want to press your head back, push your shoulders back, lift your chest up, which automatically helps you stay flat in your upper back and not rounded. If you are pressing overhead, what I see also frequently that is so dangerous is you're pressing overhead and you're leaning back, okay? Always have your elbows slightly front when you're pressing overhead and not behind you, okay? That's really hard on the shoulder girdle and also really puts your back in a very precarious, unsafe position. So do this, not that. Do it right, stay safe, and get the maximum benefit out of every exercise.